welcome to this tutorial guys in this tutorial we are going to see how to create AWS lambda function using spring cloud function the main advantage of using spring cloud function with AWS lambda is it enables spring boot features like auto configuration dependence injection matrix like that on AWS lambda so let's begin there are two ways of creating spring cloud function first one is create a method which returns a function so in our case it's a uppercase method which returns a function so it simply takes the input as a string uppercase is it and returns as a string so this method is needs to be provided and exposed as a bin of type function second approach is create a simple class which implement function interface and then that class needs to be implement a method apply from that function interface in our case it's a uppercase string handler class which implements function interface and apply is a method which we are implementing which takes input as a string uppercase is it and returns as a string so second approach is mainly used when your lambda function is complex and which happens in most of the real time scenarios so in our case also we are going with the second approach so these are the dependencies which we are going in to use in our project so first one is a spring cloud function adapter aws so this is a dependency provided by spring cloud second one is aws lambda java core this is dependency provided by aws so let's go to the spring initializer website and download a sample spring boot application from there so this is a spring initializer website so i'm just downloading the sample project here so now i will import this project in eclipse now our downloaded project is ready to use what i will do is first uh, copy the dependencies paste it here first thing we need to do is create entry for our lambda function so here i will create a class spring lambda check stands i will keep input as a string output as a string Spring Boot request handler is the class which we need to extend. So this class mainly handles the incoming request for the lambda. So when lambda gets uh, triggered, so handle request method gets invoked from this class. So now create a class which uh, implements function interface. So let's create a per is string handler class elements keep the input as a string output as a string so it will ask us to implement apply method so put. right now we are just uh, returning string with the upper case so mainly for our lambda we need to implement uh, this method so you can add your code here and modify accordingly so before building the jar 
we need to add this class as a component annotation to create the bin of this class we need to add it we need to add configuration like function dot name and we need to add the name of the bin here so in this uh, in our case it will be a small bin. so now our uh, lambda function is uh, ready to deploy so before building jar let me copy the maven plugin I am using this Maven plugin to build the jar properly. So now let's build a jar. So now our jar is ready. Let's let's deploy it in AWS Management Console and test our function. This is AWS Management Console for Lambda functions. I have already created one Lambda function for testing. If you want to know how to configure it in more details, then you can check out my previous tutorial. I have put the link in the description below. Although now I will go with the existing one. Let's upload the jar which we have built. Then click on the save. And we will test it once it's ready. So now function is ready to test. Let's create a one test event. I will keep it as a string. Give me per case. This create test. So our lambda function has executed successfully. Let's check the log. So it's giving the output in the capitals. So our lambda function is running properly. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button if you like the video and leave some comments. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you.